This Missouri State team down 11 at half to Illinois State. This is the Missouri Valley Conference, and there's Skip Schaefbauer from three. Illinois State up by 16. Southwest Missouri, Missouri State coming back. Danny Moore, the turnaround, and a foul. Ties the game at 66 apiece. Now 69-66, Illinois State. Rico Hill planks it, banks it. It's good. Hill led everybody with 31. Southwest Missouri State down three. 15 to go. A three would be nice. Instead, they try for two, but then Ryan Bettenhausen, he cheated! Oh, no! Yeah, they called it. He touched it when it was over the rim, or was it? You take it and look yourself. The ref whistled it. It does not count. Steve Hansel hits one free throw to give the Redbirds a four-point lead. Southwest Missouri State brings it up court. And then Bettenhausen flying up. This time, will shoot a three. Nails it. Pulls within one. Illinois State up now by three after a couple of free throws. Last chance, but Bettenhausen's ripped off. Jamar Smiley scoring. Illinois State winning 75-72 to as seen on ESPN. 31 by Rico Hill in Illinois State is in the big turn. James Melissa. Madison, tie game. Melissa. Mate Melissa. Ricola hit the three. Madison up by three. 39 seconds to go. Old Dominion with the ball. Down three. EJ Sherrod. The three to tie. Is he fouled? He thinks so. Let's take another look. This time, Melissa doesn't even touch him. Pull back the hand. But Sherrod got all three free throws to drop. Lefty's upset with the call. After a rip, ODU got the ball back, a chance to win. Sherrod, the open layup. Newbie missed it. Overtime. Overtime now. Old Dominion up two. Melissa gets the ball to Eugene Atkinson. The three is good. And James Madison up by a single. Old Dominion right back. Sherrod to Odell Hodge. Open bucket. Old Dominion a winner. 62 to 58. Two close ones to get into the big tournament. That makes three times in the last six years that Old Dominion has beaten James Madison. Something's got to change, doesn't it? We shall see. Second half game tied at 42. Kevin Thompson, can I get a witness from the congregation? 17 points and five three-pointers. Kanish is up three, but the Stags wouldn't quit. Greg Francis, nice leaner in the paint. Shannon Bowman, inside move. Pump fake up once, up again. He had 22 Stags up by eight. Finishing touches for the Stags, John Tice. Jam, whoa, jam. Stags win at 78-72 with only 11 wins. They're going to the tournament. 11 and 18, that's their record. They are still in the dancing. Fairfield came into the MAC tournament, seated last one. Out big continent, big, big man, big what? Big ham. Big factor, big, big mojo. I've been waiting to say that. He had 22 <laughs> points. The game though close throughout. John Duggan, Aramel's a deep three. Duggan had 16. San Francisco led three, but St. Mary's was too too tough. Millard again, big man in the post. Big Millard, big feet. You know what they say about big feet? Nine rebounds. St. Mary's wins. St. Mary's wins their first tournament berth since 1989. Big Brad win. Millard, big win. See, man, what? Had the North Conference tourney the semis. The Hood winked and bamboozled. Bryce didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on Bryce Drew. Actually, it was Davino Hines landing on Bryce Drew. Drew stayed in the game, though he scored 17. Second half, Andre Horde. No, Deontay Thickpin brought in the noise. He had 22. Northeastern Illinois led most of the game. Under 30 seconds left, and Tonis Vilchinkis kisses it. He had 22. We go to overtime. Under 30 seconds to go. Valpo up one. Craig Bruins. Booyah on the triple. He had 11 points. Homer Drew and the Crusaders win it in overtime, 88-82. Seven of Craig Bruins' 11 points came in the extra frame. Buffalo, under 30 seconds ago, Buffalo down three. Scott McMillan, I play my enemies like a game of chess. He had eight points, we're tied at 70. Western Illinois for the win. J. Anthony Joseph, no. Clint Ford, uh-uh. We're going to overtime. Leathernecks down by one. Joseph shoots, nada. Fourth, the rebound, he gets hacked. He would make both free throws. Western Illinois up one. Buffalo trying for the win, but Joseph says, give me that. W-I-U goes the other way. Ford finds David Kutcher. Okay, Kutcher. Straight butter. He had seven. Buffalo can tie it with the three. Last chance. Mike Partino to go into double overtime. Nothing, honey. The Leathernecks win it 80 to 77. First time in history that both semifinal games in the Mid-Continent Conference Tournament go season champ the final against louisiana tech i seen here on espn mark neal goes after the rebound watch this tumbles into the crowd inadvertently kicks the fan right in the face the game was tight throughout second half south alabama rico alderson they led 38 34 louisiana tech would keep it close down five johnny miller in traffic tech trailed by three louisiana tech got it to within one had a chance to win courtney hargraves 
off the mark. So South Alabama wins 44-43. Strange but Butler, seen here on ESPN. Second half, Butler up 13. Matthew Graves meant it to be an alley-oop, but he'll take it. Butler up by 16. Illinois-Chicago hanging tough. Mike King, the steal. They always complicate it with a lay with a foul after the lay-in. Flames within nine. Later in the second half, Anthony, the steal to Mark Miller. Flames within two. Next Butler possession, Kelsey Wilson called for the charge on Clifton Jackson. Jackson will go to the line with a chance to tie the game. Misses the first one in and out. Second one, got that one, flames within a point. Under a minute left. John Newhausen, baseline, Butler up three. Butler would add a free throw, they go up four. Anthony from three, oh good. Flames trail by one. They would foul. Dan Dubukovic missed the first, missed the second. A chance to win? No, they don't get the shot off. And the celebration begins with the Bulldogs. Butler did it. They win 69-68. That is so cheap that to say that. Very good. Butler is going to the NCAA tournament over on ESPN2. Jamie Sykes, the Pope, Chris Artis all the way. Valpo by five at the break. Second half, Levenex storm back. Tony Ackerman, who are you going to leave it for? How about Clint Ford? Western Illinois by three. They're smelling the big dance, Valpo is. Bob Jenkins up to Sykes. Up and over, Mark Buckingham, the strong scoop. Crusaders back on top, 54-51. Less than 15 seconds left, three-point game. Buckingham for the tie, no. Gets air, and Homer Drew's team, they're going to the NCAAs. Valparaiso wins 63-8 when they can't, you know, in his second year with UNLV. Sean Igo had 33 for the Rice Owls, but the Rebels would prevail. On the break, Jermaine Smith took the discs. UNLV goes on to win 71-61. Keon Clark had 11 points and 11 boards. The Rebs had four others in double figures as UNLV. That's South Florida on offense. Easy. James Harper slam 23 for Harper they're the Bulls and they're leading 15 to 8 the Cardinals finished up strong go on wheat up top slices that would be sliced wheat and 22 for he Louisville 29 23 at the break David Adler meantime as the shot clock runs down way downtown Wow five-point game 47 42 Louisville against a team that won two games in the conference of the regular season but the Bulls didn't get back on defense B.J. Flynn to Alvin Sims with a flush. New term. Cardinals went four for 20 from the free throw tournament. The St. Louis Billikens against Southern Miss. Southern Miss in goal. They lose the ball over on the steal. And then Damian Smith with the great block. Jimmy Floyd saves it to Anthony Richards for the big slam. And it's two points, just like Southern Miss planned. But St. Louis led 27-26 at the break. Second half, Richards misses the shot. And all of a sudden, it's rugby scrum time. Hey, Turtleneck. With St. Louis at 47-44, the freshman, Jeremy Biles. Right on time, To the delight of Charlie Spooner, as St. Louis wins 69-61, Biles with a career-high 17. Bucknell, 34-29 at the break. But the middies battle back. Hassan Booker, Hassan Chop, cuts the lead to three. Navy tied the game, then Michael Heary misses. But Booker goes up left-handed. 25 and the foul. Wild finish. Navy by four. Time running out. Don't touch the guy. Whatever you do, he hits the three. The Bucknell coach Flannery wants the foul and then suddenly just, just says, okay, sign it off. Not going to happen at Annapolis where the Navy has won the tournament again. 76-75. The Middies had opened the season six and six. Kane's not about to let Zendon Hamilton push him around. In fact, pretty much vice versa. Johnny's turn to Charles Minlin. Got the three, would convert the four-point play. Johnny's led 43-39. Hamilton blocked twice. And out comes Clifton Clark. Kane's answering a, an eight-nothing run, and we go into overtime. Miami, another run. Kevin Norris, the pull-up for three. Good. Seven-nothing run to start OT. And Miami wins it by the final of 76 to 68. The Reuter, we still can't get along. In the actual game, UMass was stronger. Charlton Clark. The Tyrone Weeks, 21 points, 11 points for Weeks. Big game for Clark, the Robert Goulain. UMass up by four at the half. And then Clark, baseline, and another Goulain. 13 points, UMass advances. It's the 16th straight A-10 tournament game win for the Minutemen. We'll move on to face George Washington. And it's Northwestern, that was tractor trailer saying, bubble this. Northwestern, Evan Eschmeyer. 
he would uh, stay in the game and score 24. Come on back. Michigan then on a 15 to 4 run. The tractor to the Maceo. Michigan led by five at the break. Lewis Bullock had seven trays the last time these teams met, and this time he had six from way downtown. Right. Michigan wins it 93 76. Next in the sequence would be eight. No, actually, it would be five. Wolverines close Sunday at Ohio State. Never had against Wisconsin. Andre Patterson trying to reverse his coach's decision. Steal and slam. Hoosiers 25 21 at the break. Badgers' great defensive team. Could they do it offensively? Well, Sam Oki. Doki. Badgers by two. Hoosiers coming back, down 53-50. It was very dark there. Then Patterson on the ground manages to get up, get the rebound, feed it out. Charlie Miller, Trey, Hoosiers tie. Dick Bennett, not happy. And Patterson again, baseline again. He finished with 18. Hoosiers win 70-66. Wisconsin on the road, what a concept. First, Marcus West, the steal, the low-risk Magellan, bad investment. Mike Dean can't believe his team missed his first six shots, or that something like that is what he said. Chris Crawford to Faizo Abraham, another low-risk bond that's embarrassing. Dude, what's up, man? I don't know, why are you wearing that hat? I don't know, same reason you are. <laughs> Aaron Hutchins, though, with an aim constellation. That's a high risk. He got it. He had 16. Second half, Moore Marquette. Mike Bargain with the steal. When you shake the rim, that is low risk. He had five points. Golden Eagles romp 79 to 53. This was, this was no contest. Syracuse off to the quick start. Jason Hart from three-point range. Cuse opens with a 10-zip run. Pat Garrity named Biggie's player of the year Tuesday night. He would miss this short J. Four points in the first half for Garrity. Syracuse with a big lead at the break. Second half, more of the same. Hart finds some room and the finish. He led Syracuse with 24 points, a career high. Todd Bergen, always making his presence felt, did so from there. 17 points for Bergen. Problem with this one, for Notre Dame, they commit nine turnovers in the first 10 minutes. Next up for the Orange, big win for them. Now, if they write the steal, a pass ahead to Derek Brown. Caps a seven-zip Friars run and put them up six. Rutgers did keep it close. Jamal Thomas, having problems, loses it. Earl Johnson picking it up, taking it all the way. And there's the kiss. Scarlet Knights within two. They were down six, though, at the break. Second half, Friars wake up. God, sham God. Behind the back, lefty off the glass. Oh, God. Friars up 11. They go on to the win. Among the talk after this one, besides the Friars keeping their tournament hurt, with the shot, Gerald Jordan with a slam. Panthers go up one. Huskies come right back. Hard neck, great pass to Claver for the jam. UConn up five. Panthers would keep it close. Montego Cummings is his name. On D with the steal. And then, uh, pull up. You're good from there. Panthers up by one. Under a minute left, Panthers down one. Cummings again with a J. Putting Pitt up one. One last chance for UConn. Ricky Moore, can he do it off balance? No, he can't. Blount, the rebound. Rochelle Jones, Russia Mel Jones, bumming. There he is. Pitt goes on to win it by one. What about Pitt anyway? The one-point win over UConn. Very much. Trey, booyah. But Pipkins held to nine points, 10 below his average. Tempo rolled. Rashid broken Burrow, two of his 13. Then Pepe Sanchez, the miss. But Julian Dunkley, it's an appropriate name. Actually, Julian offensive rebounding Dunkley, apropos. Temple advances to face Xavier, 64-47. Pepe Sanchez handed out 10 assists.